Now we should start writing the test. So open up your terminal and simply clear your terminal. And now what we can do is first thing we have to do is to compile the contract. So clean the artifact and now we can simply compile it. And now so that's what we are done. So if we come in the test and here what I'm going to do is so this one is for single swap. I'm going to simply simply come here and we need a lot of things simply select this entire code and we're going to create a new file for the multiple hops i don't want to mix all things together because that will save a lot of mess when we'll start working in other functionality okay so let's create a new file we'll call it let something like uh, what is the name we have given swap multi hop and that's the name I'm going to give to my test. So come here and we're going to call swap multi hop JS. And simply come here, grab this one and paste here. So we got our entire test file. And here we're going to do a couple of modifications. So here, this is going to be the fine. No changes we have to do here. We need the instead of the contract. So here we're going to change the name of the contract. So let's come here and so let's get into the contract so this is the multi hop we have simply come here and grab this contract come back and first thing we have to do is to change this one the name we have to change the name and we have to change here as well and we have to change here and here we have to do the changes because we need the instance of the contract globally so we can use in different test so paste here and mm, simply replace all so click Control F, paste and paste the replace one. So this is the one which I want to replace. And this time what I want to do is I want to make it as small as head enter and boom. Here you can see we have successfully replaced that. So that's the changes you have to do. If I scroll down and that looks good to me, no problem we have here. And this is the two function we have written. And simply comment this out, open up your terminal and let's run the test to see that things are looking fine or not so let's run the test and this time we have two files in our test folder so when you have one file you can simply type npm hard at test it will execute the very first file but right now we have two files so we have to define the file specifically that which file we want to run so we are running npx hard at test we are in the test folder slash and the folder we want the file we want to execute is this swap multi hop dot js dot hit enter and boom here you can see it's compiled successfully no more error we have and these warnings we're getting that's for different reason don't need to worry about it so that's looking fine we have passed this one and now we can start testing so let me bring the terminal down and um, where is that so that's the first function we have simply uncomment this one and we have to change the name of this function so let's come here this is the very first function input multi hop and paste here and this time we have the amount in this is the deposit then we have the approve we are approving the amount in and here we have to change the name of the function simply replace with this so simply come here and grab the function name and come here and simply paste here so that's the function we want to call and that's the first check so open up your terminal and let's test this out so if we run the test and just wait mm. okay this just wait you're taking a little bit time that means everything's working fine so just wait and boom here you can see we have got the token successfully back so that's how multi hop is working fine we got our token back so we are taking the amount then we are depositing to the contract and then we are doing the swap so that's working fine and now let's test the second function so let's simply uncomment this one come here and grab the function in this we have to pass two amounts simply paste here and we already have this width and die and that's what we are passing simply change the function name and that looks good to me no more error we have here things are looking comment this one that looks good uncomment this 
and simply comment this one so that's looking fine let's run the test and boom here you can see it's working fine so our multi hop is also working we got this amount of tie and this is very important because you have to know that whatever function you have written it's working or not because when we'll add the liquidity when we'll do the swap these things are going to help you a lot right now still you have any confusion don't need to worry we're going to get into more details when we'll start working in the liquidity section because the liquidity is a very huge concept you have to build the logic about the price curve that you have to find out price curve you have to understand that how the price of the token increase or decrease what is the curve all the thing so we're going to have a detailed discussion on that just for the time being just focus the what we have done the way i have tested the contract do in the exact way if it's working that means everything good and you are on the right path so that looks fine to me and let's uncomment this one so the test is ready the contract is ready so we are getting closer to our 